Have you ever tried to process a huge text file in Python, only to find that you're missing data at the edges of your chunks? It's frustrating, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're tackling regex matching across file chunk boundaries in Python. I completely understand how annoying it is when you're working with large files and you realize that your regex isn't capturing everything because of those pesky chunk boundaries. You're definitely not alone in this struggle. Many developers face this issue. Here's the specific situation we're looking at. One user recently asked, how do I solve chunk boundary issues when reading a huge file in Python? They mentioned that they read the file in chunks, but due to the chunk size, some data is getting lost at the boundaries. Sound familiar? Let's dig into this together and find a solution. So what could be causing this issue? When you read a file in chunks, the last line of one chunk might not be complete leading to incomplete matches with your regex. This is a common problem when dealing with large data sets and understanding it is the first step to solving it. And don't go anywhere. I've got a practical solution at the end that will help you handle chunk boundaries like a pro. To address the chunk boundary issue, the user should first read the file in chunks while keeping track of the last part of the previous chunk. This will help ensure that no data is lost at the boundaries. Next, the user should concatenate the last part of the previous chunk with the current chunk. This way, any incomplete data at the end of one chunk can be completed with data from the next chunk. After concatenating the chunks, the user can apply the regular expression to the combined data. This will allow for accurate extraction of the identifier values without missing any data. Finally, the user should handle any remaining data after the last chunk is processed. This ensures that any identifiers at the end of the file are also captured. Did you know? The term regex comes from regular expressions, which were first introduced in the 1950s. It's amazing how something so old is still so relevant today. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. An alternative approach suggested by a user is to read the file line by line instead of in chunks. This method avoids loading the entire file into memory and adapts the regex to match identifiers at the end of each line. That's all for that response. Let's see what someone else had to say. An alternative approach to handle chunk boundary issues involves controlling how you form your data chunks. Instead of reading fixed size chunks, you can read line by line and build your chunk until it reaches a specified size. This way, you minimize the risk of missing data at the boundaries. Another suggestion is to read the file twice. On the first pass, collect matches and note their positions. On the second pass, start reading from the end of the last match to ensure no data is missed. Store the results in a dictionary for easy merging. That's it for that answer. Let's take a look at another one. An alternative approach suggested by another user involves reading the file line by line. This method takes advantage of Python's lazy generator for file objects, allowing you to process each line as a chunk. The user recommends using a regular expression to find matches for the identifier in each line. That wraps up that answer. Let's move on to another one. An alternative solution provided by another user involves reading the file line by line instead of in chunks. They use a regex pattern to find identifiers in each line, which helps avoid missing data at chunk boundaries. They also suggest using the search method of the regex API to capture values. This method checks each line for a match and appends the found values to a list. Finally, they recommend simplifying the process with a generator expression and list comprehension, making the code more concise and efficient. Now, let's see a response from a different user. An alternative approach suggested by a user involves caching the last few characters of the previous chunk. If you know the length of the match result, you can keep the last two characters of the last chunk and combine them with the new chunk for matching. 
Here's the pro tip I promised. Always keep a buffer for your data when working with large files. This simple habit can save you a lot of headaches in the long run. And there you have it. You should now be able to handle chunk boundary issues in Python with ease. Remember, keeping a buffer and adjusting your rejects can make all the difference. If you found this helpful, hit the subscribe button for more tips and don't miss our bonus pro tip on optimizing your Python code.